Today we will be talking about doing a firmware update on the 2GIG Edge panel. To begin the process, you will simply need to start by downloading the 2GIG Edge firmware. This can be located on the 2GIG dealer page. Simply open up any web browser and go to dealer.2gig.com. Upon loading of the page, simply log in with your dealer credentials. If you do not have any dealer credentials, go ahead and register for the dealer site. Access will be granted on the same day. At that point, then all you have to do is go to the support materials section and locate the firmware. Once you highlight firmware, you'll see an option labeled firmware update 2 gig edge. At that point, simply click the 2 gig edge firmware update link and you can then download release notes as well as the firmware. One thing you will also need is a USB thumb drive to be able to load the firmware to the thumb drive and put it into your 2 gig edge panel. Simply go ahead and click download update and the firmware should begin to download. Upon download, during the download, you can go ahead and insert your USB thumb drive. When you insert your thumb drive, ensure that there is space to put the firmware on the thumb drive. Here you'll notice on my thumb drive there is a folder and another file. That's okay. Just make sure that when you put the file onto the thumb drive that it is not located in a folder. It does need to be on the main part of the thumb drive. And it looks like our firmware update is just completed. So what we're going to go ahead and do is open the folder where that firmware update is located and downsize this. And once that folder opens, and we'll just do this right here, open the downloads folder, you can see I have a firmware update file. What I'll do is go ahead and select that file and drag it over to my thumb drive. I'll give it a minute to go ahead and copy that file. And if it says something like this, like, are you sure you want to copy this file without its properties, go ahead and select yes. Once the file finishes loading to the thumb drive, you want to go ahead and eject your thumb drive so it doesn't damage any of the files on the thumb drive. One other thing sure is that this is a current working thumb drive. Why that's loading, one of the things I've noticed is that you can see a little bit of confusion sometimes with older thumb drives that maybe have USB 1.0 software. Uh, but those aren't around very often, so any thumb drive you've bought in the last couple of years should be just fine. At this point, you can go ahead and close, and I can go ahead and eject my thumb drive. So I'll go down here, tell my thumb drive, right click on the thumb drive, and once it loads, I'll go ahead and tell it to eject. Okay. So now once it's disconnected, I can go ahead and unplug my thumb drive. Okay. At this point, what I'm going to do is go ahead and plug the thumb drive into the top of the 2 gig edge panel. And I'll pull up a panel screenshot just to show you where that's located. Here we have the 2 gig edge panel. Since we've already loaded the firmware onto our thumb drive, we're now ready to go ahead and do our firmware update with our thumb drive. Okay. First thing to note is where to locate the USB port. If you look on the top edge of the panel, you'll notice a USB port located at the very top side of the panel. There is just a small lip. Go ahead and remove that. Pull that out of place. At that point, you can go ahead and insert your thumb drive into the panel. Upon inserting the thumb drive into the panel, it will automatically recognize that there is a firmware update available. At this point, simply go ahead and select Update, and enter in the default master code, or current master code. The update will begin to start the firmware update process. During the update, you'll also want to take note of the update firmware status bar. Make sure you pay attention to that occasionally to make sure that the update is going correctly. If you see any problems or any words that indicate a problem is taking place, take note so that we can get that information into our text report. Now that our firmware update is complete, you'll notice a new icon at the top indicating a new alert message. You simply tap on the icon to view any of your alerts as well as to view a message indicating a firmware update has taken place. You can simply tap on the update Enter in the default master code and view that the firmware update took place and was successful. At this point, you can delete the message and return to the home. You can now also remove the USB thumb drive and put.
put the plug back in for the thumb drive cover. And that concludes our firmware update process for the 2 gig Edge panel. If you have any questions, concerns, or problems during your update, please reach out to our tech support team for further assistance. And thank you for choosing to